Okay, uh, my name is David LeMay, or Dave LeMay, and I come out of uh, Lewis Center, just south of Delaware, Ohio. So it's about a 50 mile each way trip. And today what I'm working on is a uh, rudder bracket um, that's going to have a pulley in it uh, for rudder cables. And it uh, will have uh, tacks between two uh, fixed points on the aircraft. Uh, one will have a small angle iron bracket and the other one has three rivets that go through a uh, structural point uh, to brace it up. So this uh, piece gets a lightning hole and uh, a uh, punch to uh, shape it. That goes in there and we'll press that in the arbor press. And we'll go over to the brake and we'll uh, bend a 90 degree turn on this corner here and on this piece here. Uh, the only trick is right at the end we have about an inch uh, plus of flat material that we have to uh, stretch the, me the metal out in order to get enough extra metal to go from the 90 degree angle to a piece of flat uh, aluminum. And that's where those three rivets will go and attach to a structural point on the aircraft to give it the extra strength that it needs to be able to handle the uh, cable tension and the pilot's input. So that's basically what we're making. Um, and now you're making three of these, is that right? Well, no, I'm making one of them, but I have made three of them because, <laughs> like I say, the difficulty is in, uh, this is a piece of T3, and when I was trying to stretch the metal, I split it at this point right here uh, because the metal was a little too brittle. We thought we could make the turn and then flatten it out. So that one didn't work. The second one was last week, and this is O, and so we'll heat treat this. And this one, the flatness got a lot better, but right as we made the last bend, we ended up cracking it in the uh, brake. So in order to make sure that we have the right structural strength, we're gonna, re we're gonna make one more, and we'll just have to be real careful as we stretch the metal um, to get it. So we'll, we'll put it in the, in the brake and we'll, and we'll start this bend here, and then we'll, we'll use the stretcher to stretch the metal a little bit longer this way and a little bit wider this way, so that when we try and put that flat in there, we have enough extra metal to, uh, to work it. And this is 50 thousandths aluminum, so we should have enough material. Uh, just have to be a little careful when we're uh, when we're bending it. So we're hoping the third time's a charm.